Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to withdraw money from Trust Wallet to bank account. First, thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Trust Wallet application, which of course I have done right here. But you're going to be asked to either enter your passcode or your biometrics before you get into the home page. Trust Wallet is a secure self custody crypto wallet supporting 10 million plus assets across 70 plus blockchains, including crypto. Now you can buy, sell, swap, transfer, and end cryptocurrencies all in one place. That sounds too beautiful, right? So now that we know what Trust Wallet is about, let's hop into today's tags, which is how to withdraw money from Trust Wallet to bank account. Now there's something I would like you to know before we proceed. You cannot transfer money, but you cannot withdraw money from Trust Wallet to bank account directly in the Trust Wallet application. So it means that you have to send the token that you have to a third party wallet let's say for example bybit so once you send it to bybit and it has successfully gotten to bybit you can now head over to bybit to withdraw the money from bybit so let's say i'm going over to bybit my bybit account so clicking that open Okay, so we're here. The bottom corner, you're going to find home market derivatives trade and assets. So click on assets. And it's going to take you to this window. So over here, click on deposit. Now here, click on deposit crypto and select the crypto that you want to deposit. So let's say USDT. So select USDT and select the chain type so let's say rc20 so that you see uh it says please confirm that you're depositing your city to this address mismatch address information may result in the permanent close of your assets so once you click on that and you confirm you're going to see your wallet address for that usdt that's usdt erc20 so you can either use the the code or you can use the code or you can use the address, but then copy the address. You're going to find the address right here on this page. Once you select OK. So after copying the address, now head over to Trust Wallet. In Trust Wallet, head over to the this crypto, this crypto tab. So remember it was USDT that we used. So USDT ARC20, which is USDT Ethereum. So go ahead and click on that USDT. So this ARC20. And once you head over here, click on the send icon. Now, paste the address, the USDT ARC20 address that we copied from Bybit. You can use Binance or whatever third party wallet that you have. So paste that address in here, or you can even click on the scan code button after paste to scan the code that you got on Bybit. But let's say you're using the address. So click on the space option to paste the address. And then in here, you're going to have to enter the amount, the USDT amount that you want to send. So after doing that, click on next. And once you click on next, it's going to take you to the next process, which is to complete your transaction. The process is self-explanatory. So after you've completed your transaction, you're going to get the balance in your Bybit account. So head over to Bybit. And once you click on Bybit, after getting the money, head over to Bybit and just where we were, so we're going back. So just where we were in this deposit option, that's this asset in Bybit. You can go ahead and click on withdraw. After clicking on withdraw, you can now set this up, your your Google to FA. After setting it up, just after setting it up, you're gonna find the next steps that you're gonna take to withdraw your money. Meanwhile, the money must have left um must have left your trust wallet to your Bybit. So this is how you can withdraw money from trust wallet to bank account now in your buy bits after clicking on withdraw you're going to have to select the payment method and you'll be allowed to select your bank as a payment method after doing that that's just going to be it's going to transfer your money from that bybit account to your bank this is what you can do now you can go about this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps of course once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this tutorial marvelously helped you search